Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate, and welcome back to the mall. Yay, mall. Look how big it is. And uh, thank you to a few people out there who spotted what was going on with the money. In particular, I think, uh, was it WeeWix? Noticed that when I zoom in here, that's my, that's my money going up. <laughs> I do seem to have a bug. Look at that, there's money flying out of that till. I don't mind. We're making two million dollars a day. This lady, Karen, is just emptying her bank account. <laughs> Bought movies. Yeah, I, how many people are you planning to buy tickets for, Karen? Quite a few. You're my best customer. I love you. You're amazing. Thanks, Karen. And uh, why, are you, why are you people all red-faced? Why? What's wrong? I don't know. Not very happy. Uh, right, well, uh, I've had uh, another couple of ideas, so that's why we are here. Well, in fact, to be precise, Adventure Pies had the idea. That he suggested a toy store like Toys R Us, maybe a GameStop. And I thought that was those were good ideas. And I thought maybe I would build them... Hmm. We've got so much traffic. The traffic is a real problem. We want to draw people a bit further away uh, from things. So it might be time to put down a road. I was thinking of making almost like a really traditional, um, what do I want to call it? A really traditional kind of corner mall, like you might what get in the States. I have been to your your American shores, so I'm familiar with those. Uh, I actually want to remove road work here, I think. Yeah. Maybe that one too. Uh, and so I want to get a, a nice little a nice little road coming off the um, interstate or whatever the heck this is. Uh, it's going to go like this. It's going to have... Actually, what am I doing? It needs to be one away. That needs to be parking. That needs to be road. So that'll be parking, parking. And then this up here will be road, road. And we'll have parking like this and then we'll have parking all around and then what we'll do is put our foundations down well i'll get them to build this i'll get the foundations down over here and around the corner and we'll build ourselves what will be actually you know what that's not so silly just to have a little extra road there so crack on people all right, well, we have got uh, this set out which leaves us only time to Build. Oh, what am I saying? Roadwork customer parking. Oh, tiny pirate, you idiot. Ah, oh, no. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Roadwork. Um, there we go. Road. Oh, gosh, come, come on. All right, we'll let them crack on with that. Uh, need to get parking in and parking in. And oh, uh, just oh, crack on, silly, so silly. All right, so our car park setup is almost done, and looking, I don't know, it it looks very strip mally to me, which isn't, you know, which isn't necessarily a good thing, but that's just how it is. It's a thing, right? So we want to have it oh, maybe twenty. We'll we'll sort out the precise dimensions. Once we get a bit down, uh, how much have we got here? One gap, one gap. So it's going to be 20 wide down here too. Um, and I'll connect up the cantons, so to speak. Just come this way. Um, connect there. Oh, of course, the first thing you build is the corner I want destroyed. And that's looking pretty good. That's, yeah, that's looking it's a little fat for a strip mall, maybe. Maybe, actually, no, don't worry about it. I think that's fine. It, it does need room for tills, after all. Those are really problematic for us. And I'm going to put a little, um, what's it going to be? It's going to be a little outdoor uh, sort of storage place where, you know, received goods will come. I'm going to make it... Uh, yeah, 15 by 15, 14 by 14 is probably plenty, right? Uh, 13 to 14. Gosh, okay, there we go. Uh -huh. 
uh, objects. Um, where are we? We need a staff door. Uh, I need a couple of those, probably. And uh, one on the other side. And then the back of... Uh, oh, come on. All right, just... Oh, gosh, I don't know. Just leave it like that. Get on with it, people. Build. Build me my strut mole. I need to put in a GameStop. And I need to put in a toy shop and stuff like that. It's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. Might make these foundations a little wider. Seems a little weird with it just hanging out the edge there till the end of the edge of the mall. There we go. Crack on, people. Get crack our lacking. Okay, well they get on with the wonderful workout pack. We can start assigning storage. So We'll do storage there. We'll need a name of some kind. Ah, oh, so will the toy shop. Oh, names. Ah, oh, they're so difficult. Uh, build. We will need double doors around the front here. Uh, how many shops are we going to go for? We're going to go for at least uh, two or three. So we'll need to do that. I'll put one staff door straight into the back. Maybe two shops can can share it at the start. And we'll put staff doors out the back like this as well. One off to the side. And we'll get some wall in. I'm thinking about that would be good. And for the second shot, something like that. It's getting a little big. But now we need to get into... Wow, that's actually a... That's massive. <laughs> I've kind of forgotten. I zoomed out. It looks, oh, it's fine. Come in here, and we've got this cavernous, uh, what's well, going to be some kind of cavernous um, mall. Is this different color? Oh, it is, actually. It's like concrete gray, storage gray. That's perfect. Uh, we need crummy GameStop puce, or whatever this color is. I think that'll probably do. And now we get to do some cool things. Rotation. Woo, rotation. Watch this. Pew, 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 pew. I got lasers. Pew, 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 pew. pew. This is the, uh, well, it's a new rotation thing of me you can get because um, I'm going to put them like this. Because we are on the development branch and the development branch has uh, rotation. So can we, I think we can go like that, can't we? I think that'll probably work. Yep. And so this is going to be the Toys R Us, I think. We're going to put in some... Tables, very simple. Uh, yes, that's going to be for computer smartphones, all that kind of stuff. We are clothes rack. We're going to have a couple of clothes racks. It's going to be for sweaty nerd shirts uh, in extra large sizes. Uh, it's probably me included, to be perfectly frank. Uh, I do need some nerd shirts. I actually need some quadcopter shirts. It's a real... Oh, not to active zone. That's right, fine. Uh, I'm kind of rambling now. Um store there we go so let's uh yeah i do want i do want cool quadcopter shirts there aren't really uh that many around just to show off my flying cred anyway enough uh rambling we need to get on with other kinds of rambling what else would they have in here maybe smartphones i suppose they might mm, i sort of think oh we'll go for tablets as well and over here, it's all just t-shirts. T-shirts, 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 t-shirts. Uh, maybe one of expensive jackets. I'm thinking like the, I don't know, the Nostradamus jackets, the N7 jackets from Mass Effect, whatever the heck it was. Nostram Nostramo? Oh, I can't remember. Not Nostradamus, Nostramo. No? Yes? I should have looked that up before I started talking about it. So we have in here video games which is obviously going to be the bulk of what goes in the store. Um, put some shelving down here. Let's see what other good options we might have. Oh, we need a fridge. Oh, can I rotate this? Oh, I can't rotate this. Not yet, tiny pirate. You'll have to be patient before you can rotate those ones. I want to put in a couple of fridges. This is going to be for all the energy drinks people need, of course. So let's crack on. We've got that stocked we need to do uh toys we'll have a, actually back for toys there's going to be some like this is going to be all the gimmicky not cartels um toys that's where all the gimmicky junk that you get for video gamers 
You know the stuff I mean. Bobble-headed whatever's stick on your desk. Show your nerd cred. Uh, okay. Media and games. Just absolutely tons of them. Uh, since we've got this kind of non-game rack here, I think we're going to go for music here. This is our game music shelf. And we're going to also have a little bit of books. Guides. Hopefully a few... Oh, Hopefully a few getting started with War Fortress books go on there, for obvious reasons. We're going to put even more because we need a whole shelf just for my book. Uh, down here, we need beverages. It's all going to be fancy kinds of energy juices and energy sodas because, you know, gamers, we're a stereotype. We, we get stereotyped by everyone. Um, right, let's go this way. Uh, what else? We need some actual more games, I think, right? More games. I think that should be just about plenty of games. We do actually need to leave room for till. Uh, video games, video games, video games. Uh, ooh, uh, no women's lingerie. Nope. I don't think video gamers would want to come. Female women video gamers would want to come to a game shop to browse for that sort of stuff. That would be awkward. Uh, video games. What else do we have that we could put on here? Mm, health and beauty. Oh, I never find any of that in there. Uh, maybe some some highlighted products, highlighted books, highlighted toys, highlighted video games, highlighted uh, books. Oh, we're about ready to go. So let's manage this place. What is it going to be? Game stop. Game stop. Game stop. What can I? What can I riff on with that? You're a cashier. Uh, you're a cashier, and you're a terrible person. Look at those stats. Y you can be a cashier, and we'll need a stock clerk as well. Brilliant, and we'll need to zone assign storage. Cool. It's going to open up in the morning. It's going to be a fantastic shop. It does need a name. Let me think of one for a second. I have completely failed to think of one that was more than a second. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Come up with a cool piratical themed GameStop type name and I will happily chuck it in here. So we've got our GameStop set up. Stock is coming in. Oh good, the, the loading people are working. Why are you traveling through my shop even when it's closed? I don't trust you loading van types. You should be doing something else. Get out of here. I need my I need my other other people in here. So let's assign another store here. I think it, I feel like it needs more doors. And so does this one, I kind of feel. Yeah, we'll go for three. That seems like a lot, and a lot is a good number. So we need to manage this. This is going to be the toy shop. Um, assign, what, what, no, manage. Store 54, assign storage. Uh, oh, actually, do I need anything else in here? Here would seem to be a, a sensible place to put a, um, couple of pinball games, wouldn't it? Pinball games, arcade cabinet. Yeah, we'll chuck those in too. Why not? A single lone pot plant kind of forlornly left somewhere and ignored forever by the by the people who work there. Great. That's perfect. Shop is open. Staff will coming in. Here's a stock clerk. We'll get stuff on the shelf soon. Mm, I'm having a look, taking a step back. Parking. Everything looks nice there. So let's get on and we'll build this toy shop. The toy shop does not need any of those things. Nothing from the food shelf. This shelf, it needs a ton of. So we're going to crack on with that. Yeah, bunches of it. Um, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. It will need... I'm going to get it going live. So, Q. We're going to use that brilliant rotate feature. And this one's going to have a bit more room around it, because I can afford to have a bit more room around it, I think. Um, yeah, that works. So this pirate thing is going to have cashiers. Someone not totally awful as a human being. You'll do. And a stock clerk, you'll do. All right, now what it needs... Oh, they've all gone They've all gone home for the day. So this is going to be toys. Toys. Uh, toys. 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 And I think what else I will chuck in here is some books. Because a good toy shop, as I'd want today, 
It has books as well, doesn't it? It has... Uh, let me have a look. There we go. Um, more toys. It has, uh, you know, scrapbooky type things for kids to do. Maybe some actual proper books. And uh, the kind of things people like to buy is presents. What I don't have is any larger goods in here. I feel like I will need at least a little bit of consoles, but I think these two shops shouldn't compete, right? They shouldn't compete in what they offer. So I can't see anything. Although you could argue that they would have like special kiddie kind of devices, like those leapfrog things. I never understood why anyone bought those, to be perfectly frank. They seem to be made redundant by every other thing in the world having uh, the option to play interesting and educational games on them. So tablets. We will assume we've got some educational tablets or something in here. Of course, if it has education on it, parents are going to buy it. Now, I think pallets, do they want washing machines, dishwashers, or drying? No. Oh, hang on. Let's get back and assign this one again. So it needs tablets. Mm. I am thinking and chewing my lip. I... I reckon this is going to be more toys stuff and books and fridge. Don't really need that food. I actually do think a few snacks and cookies would be a good idea. Can't re rotate these shelves yet, which is kind of a shame. There's always a few gimmicky things around like that, isn't there? A lot of people are coming in. Stock clerk isn't there, though. Uh... This is our books. All the crafts are at the back. Uh, books. Wow, look at this. Our game shop is doing very well. Uh, books. And books. So we need a toy-related... Uh, books, 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 books. We need a toy-related shop uh, name here as well. Candies. Candies. Uh, snacks and snacks. Look at this terrible food we're going to be pumping into the kids. Uh, cookies and cookies. All the things that are good and none of the things that are good for you. Uh, what else could we put out here? I, th I think we got the food shelf down, Pat. And already, oh, it's, <laughs> everyone's gone home. There was nothing on the shelf. Never mind. Uh, what I might do is... Okay, so I want to hire a stock clerk who starts... Oh, you're very grumpy, so you're going to start late. Like that. And on our other shop, we're going to hire another stock clerk who also starts a bit later. There we go. I want them working late at night. Ah, stocking up the shelves again, because we're a little bit, bit behind here. So, more of these would be a good idea. I think we could probably argue that we need some, um, like, CDs and DVDs. Because we need that for all the kids, right? So they're going to have some kids. Lots of Dora the Explorer. Of course. And other assorted children's... Oh, children's entertainment. Uh, music CDs of the same, of course. Why wouldn't you? And... Huh. Having a little check. Is there anything else valuable, relevant... No, you wouldn't really put diapers or any of that junk in there, would you? Tools, not really. Hand tools, of course, because kids want toy hand tools, pretend ones. Likewise, power tools. And just put the right power tools on the shelf, uh, my uh, fantastic uh, staff. I don't want any of the kids getting the wrong tools. Clothing. Ah, why didn't I think of that earlier? Yep, this is going to be for all the costumes. Kids love to dress up. You'll also note, I'm running a very... Whoops. Go, go stop. Come here. Stop. I'm running a pro pretty progressive toy shop. We don't have any of this kind of dividing things up by, by gender here. That stuff is a pain. Uh, it's going to be a nice... White. There we go. And... Ooh. It's a little garish. Never mind. So, uh, what was this one going to be again? Uh, I can't even remember. I'm rambling. It was going to be uh, uh, music CDs, was it? Eh, it'll do. Down here we have uh, princess dresses for kids. Boy or girl, I'm not judging. 
and uh, t-shirts, t-shirts, t-shirts. And what else are we gonna have? Oh, more dresses for the for the little girls. There you go, because. I don't know. Little girls do seem to like dress up. Much more than the boys I know. At least my son knows anyway. Except for one who always dresses up as Captain America wherever he goes. So we've got three... Huh. It's looking pretty good. I think this is fine. Look, this video game shop is just bananas. What are the titles? Can't really see the titles we've got on the shelf. I've also noticed that our loyal customer, Karen, where is she? has departed, so we no longer have her hanging around. We still have everyone else. These guys are permanently kind of stuck. They're trapped, never able to leave. Meanwhile, oh good, our shelves are being restocked. We got two people working after hours. That one is already fine. Game shop is doing fine. I feel like this needs just a touch more decorating in here. It should look a little nicer. Uh, I don't know if I want arcade cabinets. I kind of feel that like both of these shops uh, should actually have rubbish bins and water dispenser would seem to be a generous kind of thing to offer people, right? Um, I don't really, I'm just going to put it in the middle here. Because I, I, nope, I want to make sure everyone can get around it. Likewise, it's nice to offer kids water. So we'll put a couple there, right? Eh? And a couple of plants. Just just to liven up the environment. And there we go. It's looking quite good now. Maybe one at the end of the uh, end of the clothing rank like that. Oh, not one there. We'll get in the way of the people coming in and out, won't it? Silly me. No other objects in this uh, development build. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put. I don't know if these are any good. Does anyone use the ATM? Never seen it. So I'm just checking if there's any other cool objects to chuck in. None right now. Let's watch this these two shops operating during the day and see how we go. So we have pretty good access to storage, lots of parking here. Enough staff parking, which is always important, otherwise they walk across the map. You actually pay them, it has been pointed out to me. And sorry, no, I forgot who told me this. You pay them from the moment their shift starts. So see the shops open. They're not quite on the map yet because, yeah, they uh, get paid from kind of, a, I actually suspect from when they enter the map. So you do need to make sure there's enough parking around, otherwise you won't have any staff on. Look at this, money's piling up now. We're losing money. Oh, oh, a little bit of losing money. We still have like a hundred builders just hanging around. Should fire them. Uh, but yes, 14 million cash. We are doing just fine. We've hit the windfall. Things are being bought. We can't even get this stuff on the shelf. I think, I don't know, did we load up on just toys in here? We don't have enough loading vans to drop all this stuff off. Oh, well, it'll come, I'm sure. I'm just having, have a quick look. Yeah, they're loading up on fun things. Whole bunch of people buying games here. Look, they can't even stop playing Pokemon Go when they're at the shops. Doesn't remind me of me at all. Well, hours done. Everyone's off home. <laughs> Streaming out. Ah, oh, I love how silly this looks. Brilliant. Well, I think that's probably enough for now. If you have good ideas on what should go over here, within the limits of the game, of course, then, then oh look, shirts going in, and dresses and all the costumes, brilliant. So if you have good names for the uh, for the two shops, let me know, as, as well as tell me what you reckon we should fill out in our strip mall. I'm thinking like a fast food joint, and usually there's a liquor store, isn't there, if I know America, and a gun shop. I can only do two of those three things. So if you give me a suggestion, I'm happy to, to consider it. Chuck it in the comments below. And I will also um, be taking names for all of the above. Thanks very much. I've been Tony Pirate. Great to have you around. Until next time. Look, it's another brick in the mall and it's massive. Good night. <laughs>